Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the process of what I do to paint my calipers on the Q7. Right now, my Q7 is just pretty much bare. So there's not a whole lot of prepping I need to do as far as the caliper itself. I just need to give it a really good clean. But what I did with the S4 is the same process I'm gonna do with the Q7. So you can see just how, like, I mean, it, I've had this paint on for about almost a little over two years now and the paint has not chipped at all and it looks professionally done in my opinion so i'm gonna go ahead and get a flashlight and kind of show you guys you guys can see just you know the shine and there is like no orange peel at all so if you're familiar with spray paint because i am going to spray paint them you can see your you, you can see how um with spray paint you get like an orange peel but with the method that i do it it um, um you can see how smooth the clear coat finish is and that's gonna be the big key in this process. So it just looks like it's professionally done. So obviously you can always get your calipers um, professionally power coated or if you do power coat yourself, you know, by all means do that. But I'm gonna go the budget route and just proof of that, having that my S4, the calipers, you know, for two years, it's held up very, very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'll be using for the Q7. All right, so the first thing is primer. You're gonna need a high heat primer. So I have this one by Duplicolor Primer. This one's right up to 500 degrees. So this will be the first thing that goes on to the calipers is the primer. And the next thing is gonna be the color that you choose. For me, because I'm going yellow, obviously I got yellow, but you can use whatever color you want. It'll be the same process. Again, I just kept it with the same brand the Duplicolor, and again, I used the engine enamel. You could use the brake calipers, but I'll go into more detail as to why I'm going with this over the same, you know, brand, but instead of using the caliper paint, using this instead. And then the next thing, I got two cans of these. Um, just to be on the safe side with primer, I want you, you, you're good with one can. And um, with the paint, um, just to be on the safe side, I got two cans. Now, the next part is the the crucial important part. So this is a, this is called Spray Max 2K Clear. So not to get confused with um, like the Rust-Oleum 2X Clear. Do not, do not use this. This is not, do not get confused with this. Use this, not that. So with this clear coat, um, this is um, the crucial thing as mentioned. So this is what's gonna give you that professionally like smooth, no orange peel finish by using this. So pretty much what it is, it's like a two type um, um, paint. So you get that little red cap, you put it down below and the resin and the paint somehow mixes in and it gives you that professional um, finish. Then once that's all said and done, um, next I'm gonna be actually doing um, a ceramic coat on the paint itself because I tested it on my S4 and it has not affected the clear coat. So by using this clear coat, this is pretty much ceramic coat safe to use a ceramic coat on this. And again, as far as clear um, ceramic coat, I'm using the Adams Polish um, paint correction um, ceramic coat. And there's a million different types of ceramic coats out there. So I'm, so it's up to you which one you choose. But since I'm using Adams and I've used Adams for the cars and the brake calipers. Um, I mean, it, I'm sticking with this because I know this works. One thing I want to mention before moving on is the ceramic coat. Um, so once the clear coat is on, you have to wait for the whole, for the paint to fully cure. And that might take about up to almost a month because you do not want to put ceramic coat on fresh paint because the paint needs time to cure. You know, there's gases from the paint that are, you know, coming up to the surface and into the atmosphere and whatnot. So that's just pretty much a simple explanation. I know if, if you guys that are watching this actually do body work and paint, you know what I'm talking about. So this will not be put on in this video, but I'll have to wait in about a month to put um, the ceramic coat to really make, you know, when you clean your calipers um, a lot easier. And I recommend using um, the ceramic coat. Um, and it just makes your life a lot easier, especially if you wash your own car. And there is one more thing I wanna mention that is between this step and this step. So you put your primer on first, you put your yellow 
um, whatever color I mean spray paint you want and in between this, this is where you want to put your decal over this and then you spray um, the clear coat over the decal. Now, here are the decals I'll be using. So you see there's two larger ones and two smaller ones. So the larger ones are going to be for the front calipers, for the six pistons, and then the smaller ones are going to be for the rear ones, which are the four um, piston calipers. I went ahead and got the ones with the black text. So I think it definitely looks good with yellow and it just kind of goes with the theme of the car. And also, um, as mentioned before, you do not need to um, use um, decals if you don't ha if you don't want to. Because there's other cars I've seen them; they have um, no decals at all, and it still looks good. But this is more of a personal preference for me. I like the Brembo stickers, and if you're not a big fan of the Brembo stickers, you can also obviously get different um, decals to your liking to say something else or whatever that may be. Because I've seen ones that still have like the Porsche sign on it, the Lamborghini logo or you even say something else too. So it's definitely personal preference if you wanna use decals or no decals at all. As always, I'm gonna be posting the links down below in the description part to where I got these offline, uh, online, I'm sorry. So this I got on Amazon. This I actually got at O'Reilly's Auto Parts because on Amazon, this thing was crazy expensive. So it was cheaper for me to get at the uh, O'Reilly's. That's where I got it from. This was from Amazon. And this, actually I got this in person at Adams when I used to live in Colorado. So I still have you know enough to cover for the brakes. So the reason why I have this, so even though it is the same brand, but you can see that it's a different shade of yellow. And because I'm going with yellow, I want to talk briefly about this. So with this yellow, this yellow looks a little, to me, my personal opinion, looks a little bit washed out. And this yellow looks a lot more bold and strong. So this yellow is the same yellow that I use for the supercharger. And as I already mentioned, the calipers. And I love this shade of yellow because it's so bold. And I think it looks great because, you know, as mentioned, you can kind of see, hopefully the camera picks this up pretty well, that this looks like a washed out yellow. And this yellow is um, a lot more bolder. And um, get the car ready. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove all the wheels and start you know, covering up, you know, the surface, what parts I do not want to get painted because I will be painting these calipers with the calipers still installed. Okay, so I have all four wheels around the car are finally removed. So the next step, what I'm gonna be doing is going ahead and giving these a pretty good clean, um, putting some sort of degreaser, getting any kind of junk out from here. And then once they're done cleaning, I'm gonna go ahead and um, pretty much protect this so that no overspray gets onto the paint and just kind of cover this up and so that only the caliper itself is showing. I'm gonna do the same thing for all four calipers. Just finished um, wrapping, covering up all four sides. So this is how I did the front. So all that's really exposed is the front calipers, obviously, because I'm gonna be painting them. This is how I did also. Um, I left this part exposed because I don't care if there gets too much paint because most of the concentration of the paint will be here. So there's a little bit of overspray here. Not a big deal for me. Next, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove um, this bar right here in this retainer clip right here. The way you remove this, so there's a socket back here and it's not on this side, it's gonna be on this side, on the, on the inside side. You want is a 13 millimeter. And that's gonna go back here. You're gonna break this loose and this will come out towards um, towards you. And as for the rears, it's gonna be slightly different. So there is no um, socket. There is a cotter pin right here. So you'll remove the cotter pin. And this time you'll actually remove this going towards the inside of the car. Brake pads covered with tape. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the rears. And the next thing to tape off is the little cover for um, the nipples. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this rubber nipple cover from here so I can have a better tape job. And to do this, you gotta be very careful because this does stretch and you don't wanna rip it. So you wanna like stretch it around just a little bit. So there's no, so there, there you go, it's off. So you want this side, if this, hopefully this makes sense. You want the flat side to be around like this and not the torn part because it won't be even. You want it to be as close to flush, but not too, not, you don't want the tape to be touching the actual caliper itself. So there, so there you can see, there's a little gap between the tape and the caliper itself. 
and you want like I said you want the flat smooth surface because it looks a lot cleaner and when it's time to tear this off you don't want the tape to be touching the paint on this because if you were to peel this off and the tape is contacting the caliper you, you run the risk of actually also peeling the tape the paint that's around the caliper. I went ahead and um, used the little wheel grinder um, wire brush to go ahead and remove all the you know the rust and gunk that are on this you know. So now that it's all nice and cleaned up I'm going to do the same thing with the brakes. I'm going to put in a uh, uh, some primer and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on the paint and I'm gonna be using a black paint and not the yellow one. This is the paint that I'll be using this um, satin black semi gloss on um, black heat again this is also high heat and a little tip um, if you if it's not hot outside um, or if it's cold where you are um, get a warm bucket and put the paint let them sit in the warm bucket for a while for the cans to heat up because I've noticed when the cans are nice and heat and warm um, the spray pattern's a lot smoother as compared when they're cold so just a little tip this is how I have it set up so I have it standing up so I can get it from this side to this side then once it dries the primer I'm going to flip it around and then spray the other side now that I finished putting two coats of the primer I'm gonna go ahead now put in the black um, paint so I think I forgot to um, to mention is what I'm doing is doing one coat of primer waiting five minutes doing another coat of primer five minutes and then obviously I flipped it around and did the same thing so I'm doing five minutes between each coat now for the black paint I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats and see if two coats is good enough if not then I'll go to a third coat and again five minutes between each coat All right so I'm finished painting the the pins and the little retainer clips and it looks pretty good um, now that it's dry to the touch it's been about 24 hours um, I mean it looks good so for right now I'm gonna leave this off to the side and now I'm gonna go ahead and um, start um, painting the calipers now there are three um, coats of the primer so the first two coats I did light and then the third coat I did a slightly heavier coat and between each coat I did 10 minutes and I did it for all four calipers so now I'm gonna wait like I said wait 10 minutes and next will be the yellow paint all right just now finished the last coat of the yellow paint again I did two light coats and then the third coat was a heavier coat and between each coat again another 10 minutes I'm gonna all right so now that I have the yellow all the coats of yellow on to the calipers now the next thing is the decal uh, the placement of the decals and when to apply them but if you're not going to be putting on decals um you can totally skip this portion of the video and just go straight to um, adding the clear coat and when it comes to applying the decal do not press really hard onto the decal onto the caliper because you know the paint is still soft you don't want to like put your finger imprints onto the caliper. It's not like when you're applying stickers to a toolbox where you can press firm onto the toolbox. But in this case, you wanna be just nice and gentle to not like be able to like smear the paint or put, like I said, put your little finger digit prints onto the paint on the calipers. When it's time to put on the decal, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. But I think there's a way that looks better. And again, this is just my opinion. And this is coming from Brembo. So um, the way that it's placed is, so the bottom part of the text faces towards the center of the, of the, of the rotors, if that makes sense. So it'll be placed in, in this direction with the lettering this way and not like this. But if you want to put it this way, that's by all means, do what you, what you prefer, what you, in your opinion, looks best. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. Again, this is the passenger side. So the passenger side is gonna look just like this in the driver's side. Driver's side, again, the same thing is gonna look like this. So if you, if you can remember on the passenger side, the little Brembo logo was up on top. On the driver's side, the little Brembo logo is now on the bottom. To limit the surface area contacting the paint or the fresh paint on the caliper, I went ahead and cut around the edges of the decal with the exception of just one part where I can at least get my finger. My um, finger. So when I do um, place the decal, I have enough room just to peel it out slowly because I didn't want to, because originally it's like a big old square. Um, the decal, that's just too much surface area, touchy, making contact with the paint. And like I said, I want you want to 
minimize the surface area that's contacting the fresh paint from the little decal. There is the decal in its um, location. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the clear coat. With the clear coat, I'm gonna do three coats again, just like I did with the paint. But the only difference is, instead of 10 minutes, it'll be 15 minutes between each coat. Now that the decals have all been installed, now I'm gonna go ahead, open this up, and there's a little red little cap right here that you just easily removed. And this thing goes down into the bottom. There we go, push down on it. So once you push down on it, you're gonna hear a good sound. And now you wanna give it a good shake because the hardener and then with the paint and the resin is um, getting all mixed in. You want to get that nicely mixed in. So shake that for a good while and then go ahead and um, spray the clear coat onto the calipers. I'm going to use three coats per caliper and in between each coat will be 10 to 15 minutes um, between each coat. Now that I put on the last coat of the clear coat, I'm going to go ahead and let it um, dry for a total of 24 hours. Because right now I don't, I'm not using this vehicle right now as my daily for the time being. I have another car that I'm using for as my daily for the time being. Um, this is a great time for me to um, allow it to dry for the full 24 hours because if I go ahead and put on the wheels now and then I just don't want to chance it of you know it still being soft and say dirt gets on it you don't want like little dirt or rocks or whatever or grime or break dust or whatever to kind of get embedded onto the clear coat so that's why it's really important to let it the clear coat to cure for about 24 hours before you go ahead and start driving it. Now that it's been about 24 hours of it curing, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the protective cover. So when it comes to removing the cover, you wanna be very careful to make sure that no, like there's not like a bridge connecting the, you know, like the cover from with the paint or like even, even this too right here, even though I left a little gap, but you still wanna make sure there's not like a little bridge, like I said, a bridge connecting the, the, the caliper itself to the tape itself because the last thing you want to happen is as you remove the cover all of a sudden you start peeling the tape um, with you so you don't want that to happen so you want to get like an, a little box cutter knife or an exacto knife whatever and just cut very carefully because you don't want to cut into the or scratch the paint itself so go ahead around make you know any bridges that you see go ahead and just cut it away and then go ahead and start removing all the cover the tape whatever you use to cover up the you know, the remainder of the calipers besides the calipers I mean um, and yeah just take your time with this process now it's been about 24 hours I'm gonna put on the wheels and it looks great here are the fronts and then obviously the rears gonna look pretty similar It'll also look pretty good too. So now I'm kind of twinsing with the Q7, kind of like how I have the S4. So I'm pretty happy that I finally got the calipers painted on the Q7. And I already know there's a lot of videos out on YouTube on how to paint calipers, but there aren't a lot that use that clear coat that I use, which is that 2K clear. So that 2K clear is definitely the, you know, the icing on the cake which makes this look really professionally done. And so, yep, so that is how I um, paint the calipers on my cars. And hopefully this video was instructional. I hope you guys learned something new. Hope you guys have a good one. Thanks.